In this matrix, if we compare our rows to our columns, we can see that there is a strong pattern in our columns because all of the shapes and the shading of those shapes are consistent from top to bottom in each column. So that's where we'll focus. If we start in our first column, the difference between row 1 and row 2 is a 180 degree rotation of both shapes in um, row 1. So 180 degree rotation. However, from row 2 to row 3, a different rotation is taking place. This rotation is just a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise. Just like that. So from here to here, we have 180 degree rotation and then 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. So if we apply that same logic to this element right here above our missing element, 90 degree clockwise rotation, 90 degree clockwise rotation, we will see that our correct answer is answer choice C.